it's nearly the end of January. So I thought you'd like to see the additions I've made to my winter wardrobe. I've been quite busy making clothes for myself over the past couple of months and they're all in the same colour palette as my autumn wardrobe because I decided that autumn and winter should share the same colour palette for me. So with that in mind, let's see what I've made. I'm going to start with bottoms. I've made uh, myself a pair of jeans, which I actually did need. Um, I needed a, more trousers in my wardrobe. I made a second pair of El uh, Eleanor jeans by J. Lee. They're in black stretch linen, as you can see. Uh, they've also got, I don't know if you can see that, but red top stitching on them as well. In hindsight, I probably should have done black top stitching or, um, you know, a cream kind of stitching because I think the red is probably a bit too much of a contrast on the jeans themselves. And if I wear any other colours like pink or blue, obviously they don't coordinate. So the next pair of jeans I make, they will have a more subtle top stitching shade. But yeah, Eleanor jeans, I've worn them absolutely loads and loads. Uh, like I said, they run a stretch linen viscose mix and they've been beautifully warm for winter, surprisingly. So that's my first garment. I'd already made a couple of skirts um, previously for my autumn and winter wardrobe, but I couldn't resist making a couple more. Both are style arc patterns, you know I'm a big fan. The first garment is, I'll just take off the hanger, there we go, uh, the first garment is the yo-yo skirt. Now this is a really, really straightforward, simple, um, it's like a column skirt I guess. It's, I did the, it's the midi length, uh, so yeah, I did the midi length, it's got an elasticated waist. The waist is very simple, it literally is just overlocked on and then the waist is flipped down. So I made that in probably an afternoon or something. So yeah, that's in grey ponte. The second skirt is another style arc pattern. It's the Genoa skirt. Now I made this in um, black and white vines. Uh, viscose chalice. I got the fabric from Pound Fabrics. Uh, the grey ponte of the yo-yo skirt and the viscose um, linen, stretch linen, is also from Pound Fabrics. It's from their core range. This is, like I said, a viscose chalice. You can't tell from this. If I stand up, you might be able to see, but it's, again, it's a, a longer skirt. It's a midi length. It's a bias cut. It's a woven fabric. It's bias cut. And this also has an elastic treatment at the waist. And it's again overlocked on and flipped down. Now you might be wondering why I made myself a viscose chalice skirt for the winter. The reason is that um, I can wear it with tights or leggings underneath and a pair of nice boots or converse. And it looks really, really smart. I've worn it a couple of times and because it's bias cut, it really skims the body nicely and I absolutely adore that skirt. So that's my second skirt. Let's look at the tops that I made. I made quite a few tops. They are very basic and very straightforward. However, I did have a, a very large gap in my wardrobe for basic tops. So I think I filled that quite nicely with the tops that I made. I still don't have enough. I've still got time to make some before I need to concentrate on my spring wardrobe. I made the Keep It Simple Babe top, which is a pattern from Pattern Emporium. I made one in a long sleeve version in black. I made a long sleeve version in white with black spots on it. And I also made a grey top, long sleeve top, with graffiti stripes. Now if you want to make your own Keep It Simple Babe top, I have done a sew along and I actually made this top in the sew along and you can find it up here. 
I'm also wearing a keep it simple babe top, this time with the short sleeves. They do all have the high round neck though, so apart from the sleeves, that's the only variation. The final top I made for myself, I made myself the wardrobe by me, Trudy Turtleneck. And I made this in black viscose cotton jersey again it has long sleeves and it has a roll collar you probably can't see that all that well because it's a dark color obviously and the neckline doesn't look all that fantastic on the hanger but it fits absolutely beautifully I made this top in a leopard cotton viscose uh, last year I think it was and it's really quite tight the reason for that is I used the exact same size of the pattern. This has a lot more uh, horizontal stretch than the, than the leopard cotton jersey, so it fits a lot better. I would have liked to have made myself a top just like this in red and green, but I just haven't had the time since um, Christmas has come and gone. So maybe that's something I look forward to making in the next couple of weeks. And finally, um, if you've seen my videos, you probably would have seen that I've renewed my interest in machine knitting. So just before Christmas, I knitted myself um, all the body pieces of this cardigan. It's just a classic V-neck set in sleeve cardigan with a, a button band. So what I did, I knitted all the plain bits of the body on the knitting machine. I have a, a mid-gauge knitting machine. It's a Silver Reed 860. And then I spent some really relaxing days over Christmas knitting all the ribs on. So I stitched it all up and I'm really, really pleased with that. I can't tell you how pleased I am. I need cardigans in my wardrobe because the ones I have are actually really tight, really small and really quite holy and tatty. So to have a, a new cardigan in my wardrobe is a real luxury. Still talking about machine knitting, I bought this from Amazon. Can you see that? It's easy peasy full price socks. It's a book for machine knitted socks on the flat, flat bed knitting machine. Um, and I set to work straight away and I've almost knitted myself a pair of grey socks. This is, these are in um, Drops Fable. Now you can still see I've got knitting needles in the top there. That's because I knitted the rib by hand. I seamed the sock uh, uh, with so I should go down the sides, a technique that I'd never used before until I saw the book um, and then hand knitted the ribs on the top but I still have to cast off I'm looking for an elastic cast off and the, El the Elizabeth Zimmerman elastic cast off is the one I'm going to do so I still have to cast those off but I've got a pair of gray socks there as well I also knitted myself on the knitting machine yesterday afternoon there's lots of waste yarn on this and looks a bit tatty but a pair of funky striped socks. There you go, also in Drops Fable. Yeah, they need obviously the ribs knitting on the top so that they look like the grey ones. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely, I absolutely love those. I try them on, they do fit, and to seeing them on the machine is just, I've never ever done anything like that before, so I'm really dead pleased with those. <laughs> So I do have a couple of plans for the next few weeks. Um, I want to make myself a, another top from this grey fabric, which is a marl fabric. I'm not sure where I got that from, actually. I haven't got a clue. I think I might have got it from Abacan out of one of their bins. Um, I want to make myself a pair of Stylock Bennett pants in this lovely grey fabric. Uh, it's linen fabric. It is uh, from Pan Fabrics. I bought that last year. And I also want to start making up. It's a wren jacket. Um, I've repurposed a poncho I made last year. And this is one of the pieces. It's in coral. Um, I think it's called Coral Pile 
fleece fabric. I think that's from Tia Knight. I haven't started on this yet, but I would like to because I think that'd be a really cosy little cardigan jacket. As far as knitting is concerned, I do want to finish my both pairs of my socks off. I've also got some cardigans that I want to knit on the machine, like this one. Um, I want to knit one in plum. It's very similar to the uh, coral fleece that I just showed you. I want to make one in black. I want to make one in grey and one in red. So they are my basic colours, again, for my capsule wardrobe, and I want to knit those up. I made myself a New Year's resolution that I would knit myself one garment on the knitting machine per month in 2024. So I've already made one for myself and I'm looking forward to this, forward to this second one. For me today, if you want to find out how to make this top, uh, you'll find details of the sew along here.